that's basically it. The boot camp level two, though, uh, here's my sales pitch, um, is 36-week program. It may end up being 40 weeks. Um, I'm going to kind of see or adapt on that. A uh, couple of interesting things. The, the basic premise of it is to focus on workflow, staging, and balance. And, um, and so we're going to mix eight songs, eight different styles of music, um, we'll spend the first quarter kind of setting up each of the eight songs. So that'll be the first eight, eight plus weeks, uh, do a quarter review. And then quarters two, three, and four, we'll be completing each mix one at a time. So unlike boot camp one, where I dragged out four songs over the course of like 50 weeks, mixing them, you know, stage by stage, one after the other, this is going to happen a little bit more fast complete one song, move on to the next, complete one song, move on to the next, complete one song, move on to the next. A little bit more like the way that you would do it. Now, each one of these different things is going to feature different workflows as is appropriate to the song. So for those of you who are used to the three-tier structure and the way that I work, there are some adaptations and some twists on it. So uh, many of you have asked about doing more simplified workflows where we share effects between different elements of the mix. Uh, there's going to be a track where we'll feature that. That's really suitable for like jazz and have a jazz, um, a modern jazz mix to do in there. So it'll be good for that. Um, and, uh, and then there are other things like mixing into compression that might be suitable for the hip hop song. Um, there's a, um, <laughs> there is one track at the end, uh, which I just, you know, uh, secured, uh, permission to use, which is going to be really great. Um, uh, I'm trying to pare some things down cause it's, it's a production that's about 150 tracks <laughs> and that's, what's going to be used for the first ever the first ever mixing with Mike mixing contest. So now this is going to be only for people who are part of the boot camp. So you buy into the boot camp, you go through the program, and uh, that is going to be the mix that is going to be used uh, for the mixing contest. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> and it's really like a kind of modern pop track. So there's a lot of techniques, a lot of you know electronic elements that are in it. And um, it's actually a really catchy song. It's really cool. Uh, I really like the production work that's done on it. Uh, probably will spend a bit of time. I want to see if I can get it all down to 100 tracks or so. Make it, I mean, even that's a lot to make it at least manageable because um, not everybody can handle that many tracks. And, um, and you know, but... On the other end is like maybe 30 tracks that are just effects, different effects that, that may happen like once in the song and nowhere else. So I may consolidate some of these things that are very similar onto a single track just to kind of make it, you know, um, make it a thing, you know. So just it's it's doable for everybody. So the, uh, the grand prize for this is... Um, is a bale of hay and a horse. No, it's actually three private lessons. Um, so uh, that would be something that we would schedule after the boot camp for the winter. Um, also, I want to include all of the members of the boot camp in the community in part in the process of selecting the winner. Uh, so it's not something where it's just like, hey, you know, you know, my my friend Bob, his mix is really crappy, but I'm going to pick his mix just because <laughs> I like him. No, no, it's not going to be anything like that. So I want you guys to actually help in the mix process. So I'll have a, a live class where we'll play through the finalists. I'll pare everything down, and then uh, and then we'll have a little uh, you know a thing about it in the end. Blind, all all blinded. You won't know who it is and all that sort of stuff. So uh, so that'll be fun. Now. Uh, when you sign up for the boot camp, they're, they're basically like if, if you have access to it, if you have any membership level, uh, like a all access membership level. So if you're monthly, you just have to maintain your monthly membership. If you're annual, you just have to maintain that. If you're lifetime, you get it automatically. Um, and Or you could purchase it separately, which is just permanent access. So if you purchase it, um, 
it does not come automatically with mix evaluations. So the mix evaluations are separate from the mixing contest. The mix evaluations, uh, there are four of them. Now, uh, part of it, it took me a little while to figure this out because the first time I just sort of did uh, as many mix analysis as I could in the first boot camp. And if you look through like the first, second, third quarter, there are literally like over 100 mix reviews that you can watch one after the other. A lot of people find that helpful. So I'll post the same the mix reviews on the website the way I did for the first boot camp because I think that's really helpful to people. But uh, I did limit it. So uh, because it does take a lot of time to organize and put together, uh, sit down and get my head in the right space, you know, smoke a, you know, get the bong out or whatever, get myself in the mood and then do the review without being mean. <laughs> no, I'm never mean. I'm a nice guy, really. Um, but then, you know, shoot it and post it and all that other sort of stuff. And then, you know, send the link to the individual users, trying to keep everything anonymous. So, you know, it, it ends up being a lot of extra work. So the uh, so we'll do a similar type of thing, but it is a separate purchase that uh, you can add on. So when you go to purchase it, um, and the keyword is when you go to purchase it, um, there is a little add-on thing there where you could just add in the additional mix reviews. Um, and uh, you could also, if you don't have Bootcamp Level 1, there's also a really cool link right at the end there that you'll get so that you can backward pick up Bootcamp 1 if you don't have it. Now, uh, some of the questions, some people, um, uh, do you need to take, like, ask, do you need to take Level 1 in order to go to Level 2? And the answer is no. But I will say that this is um, this is a an intermediate level course. If you're just beginning mixing, and you dive into this, um, and you're you're going to be uh, you're, you're going to be struggling to to keep your head above water probably because it's going to move a lot faster. So the the general assumption is that you've taken mixing courses, you've been mixing for a little bit, you've been through the boot camp level one which is probably, if you go through that, that's probably more mixing than any part-time mixer would do, you know, <laughs> over the course of a few years, you know. Um, you know, it's a lot of condensed work. So if you really push your way through that, you're going to improve just by putting your energy and effort into it. And that's, that's sort of the whole thing. Now, what's unique about this, that is an extension, is again, the workflows are changing here. So it may be that when I pick up a particular track, I'll notice a particular deficiency or something that doesn't seem to quite lay out right or the way I want it, and I'll address that first. That might mean I start a mix by doing some saturation processing or adding some effects to certain sounds or laying some things out just so I can get the basic, you know, get the framework of the mix done. It may be that you know, um, I do like even if you look at the the CUDA mix that we're working on now, where I thought I really wanted to do a certain thing with the acoustic guitar, but the existing sound didn't lend itself to that working well. And I thought I need to do something to sort of correct that sound so I can achieve the certain thing that I feel like I want to do, or at least see if I can do it, because then I may need to change the approach to the mix, right? And so I applied that processing and I think it gets us ballpark enough where, you know, we can do it and um, without butchering the sound of the acoustic guitar and make it work. Right. So and that was sort of a so that it, it may be as simple as that. It may be much more sophisticated. I may do a whole ton of stuff and then, you know, do like EQ and compression later, completely later after doing like all kinds of effects and other things. So. Those are adapted kind of workflows that are sort of necessary because to me, my approach to um, to all of this, including improving myself as an engineer, was always to look at what I was worst at and then work on it, you know? So if I felt like for a long time, I really felt like I was doing all of these all of this mix work, but everybody, all the projects I was getting, everybody wanted everything dry. You know, so it was like really digging into just like early reflections and stuff. And it was really good at those kinds of things. But when it got to longer reverb effects, I struggled a bit more. And then when I started doing more R&B work and started working with Whitney, it's like, man, you better 
<laughs> learned how to do that shit or you're going to be out of, you're going to be out in the street. And so, um, you know, when I look at that and I think, you know, it's, Hey, you know, I am, I don't feel comfortable in this particular area or I don't feel comfortable the way I get certain drum sounds or whatever. Um, I push into it. Right. And, and that's the way that you get better. Right. So that you don't, end up in a situation where you say, hey, I can do this one thing really well, but if you take me outside of my box, then everything falls apart, right? And you won't make a career doing it that way. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, anyway, so that's the basics of it. So the layout then, you know, if you go to the link that's on the, on the, um, on the uh, email announcement for the class here, uh, or if you got the e, uh, email announcement, or even if you just go to the website and just you know log on to the page here, you'll see a breakdown um, here. Uh, it starts October 28th. Um, I may do a live um, preview class uh, earlier that same week. Probably, I guess that would be, what, the 23rd or something like that, or 24th, I think. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll see how that, how that goes along you know, between now and then, it's only a few weeks away. So it comes around pretty quick, but you could look at the curriculum for each quarter. Now, this is generally rough. Um, I'm planning to do a mix review to start off each week, just like I did before. So the mix review would be a mix analysis of an existing really great mix and talk about the aspects of that particular mix that I, that are really cool and things to note about it. Uh, and there's a lot of new, really cool material that I've come across. Also, um, uh, one of the students from the course started um, gathering the stemmed mixes where actually um, for, for some of the songs I did reviews on that are actually split outs that separate out stereo mix of drums, stereo mix of keyboards, guitars, you know, vocals, all with effects and stuff. So that uh, so I'm going to take a listen, see how well some of those things match up, and I may feature some of those things in the course as well, because that's educational when you think in, when the context of a whole mix, it's not completely apparent how the drums are done. But then if you could isolate the drums out and listen to them, you'll hear certain things that may surprise you, right? That that get it all to work together. So. Obviously, any way that I can can make it work. You're 22 days, 17 hours, 36 minutes, and 17 seconds away um, from uh, from it beginning. So anyway, that's my little countdown thing. Um, yeah, that's basically it. The classes are pre-recorded, so there's no live class to attend, so you don't have to worry about scheduling or anything along those lines. And uh, and it pretty much rocks from there, you know. Then it is just gonna kind of go on. Uh, there may be from my own sanity, um, you know, like, uh, in between quarters, like a week or two where I take a break and then, and then, uh, we pick up again for the next quarter that would allow you guys to catch up, uh, as well. Um, but, um, I'll lay that out and there'll be all announcements in there. The plan is nine, uh, four, nine week quarters. There most likely will be 10 weeks and, and. I want to th because I want to throw in some live Q and A type of things for for people in the boot camp, so that you know when they um, join up, that you know they have questions along the way. I always answer the questions in the forums and stuff. Stay on top of that as best I can. Um, but live answers are often better because it, I can call up a particular mix if you had a question on it and I can demonstrate or explain in more detail what it was it was doing, you know, so.